Howdy. It's Rat here, and before getting into the video, I would like to first say that we actually did get a house, and so I'll be moving in about a month. So, um, yippee. <laughs> My content may be a bit more drawn out because it's gonna be a lot of work and I don't have a lot of time at the moment to film because I'm just so busy with other stuff. But anyway, today I'm going to be discussing my Cocker Spaniel collection. I have 11 Cocker Spaniels, 12 if you count a custom, so um, let's get into it. I keep refilming this because every time I say something stupid and I'm just like, uh, no. Anyway, <laughs> first we have 91. Uh, this spaniel is well known as like Rachel from LPS Popular. Um, I really like this spaniel, but mine constantly has a problem with falling over, mostly because of a head tilt, which I probably could fix because it's likely the peg, but it could also just be the body being uneven, which I could also fix, but I, I'm lazy, so it has a red magnet. This next one is one of my favorite Cocker Spaniels. Here is 156. I've actually had this Cocker Spaniel like three times already. Um, I have one of my dupes that I'm saving to sell for LPS Con. Each time I get it though, it's in like better condition than the last, so I, I guess I'm not complaining. This pet actually used to be one of my mascots. His name was Finley, but I just kind of grew out of it. I love this spaniel's freckles and stuff like that, and I just love brown pets as a whole. He's so cute. He is also a red magnet pet. After that we have 252. This is another spaniel that I really like because I really love brown pets. She originally had this bow on her, but the elastic broke. Even though she's a little bland, I really love her and she looks great in green. Her original green scarf is so pretty. She also has a red magnet and mine has some writing on the feet, but I don't really care when pets have writing on their feet. This next pet is one that is insanely nostalgic for me. This is number 347. When I was a kid, I didn't have too many main fives, but I did have this pet, and I loved her so much. I thought she was so pretty, and just like, look at her. She's so cute. She's simple, and she looks a lot like 91, but just with green eyes. This isn't the original one that I had since I sold my first collection, but either way, she still means a lot to me. She has a blue magnet. 575. I got this pet in the same lot that I got my blue magnet puzzle collie. I didn't get it for the spaniel, but I actually really like her. I like her lashes a lot. I think they look really nice, like the little bottom lash and then the thicker top lashes. I think it's super cute. It's not my favorite, but I am happy to have it in my collection, and she's got a blue magnet as well. Purple. Here's 672. Like the last one, this isn't one of my favorite spaniels, but I still like it. I prefer the one with purple paws, but I don't have her. She's also got a blue magnet. She does have a little bit of staining. I think it's like ink stains, but I don't really mind that much. Next up is my absolute favorite cocker spaniel of all time, and probably one of my favorite pets. This is 716, and I love her so much. Her colors are absolutely stunning. I love the little like reddish brown tips and everything. Like she is just so beautiful. I put this scarf on her because I thought it'd look really good and it does. Um, so legally she's not allowed to take it off. She also has a blue magnet and I just, I love her so much. People hate sticker eye pets. I am not people. I actually, kind of like them. I'm not gonna say that they're amazing design-wise, but I think they're so goofy and like, I don't know, they have a little bit of charm to them. This is 1318. I prefer the other Sigurai Kali, not Kali, Cocker Spaniel that has like the winking eye and is like purple, but I like her as well. She's super cute and she has a hole. I have a very controversial opinion. This is 1615. And I do not like the Spaniel, nor do I like the other Blythe Cocker Spaniel. It's not even really the designs, it's just how poorly the Blythe pets were made. Their quality is just a lot worse. Blythe Spaniels, for some reason, have this like permanent looking up 
type of thing, like a, a head tilt up, and it annoys the hell out of me. I think a big reason why Blythe Spaniels have this issue is because they decided to use a small peg for them instead of a large peg. I don't know why. Typically, Spaniels have large peg and i think it's just not enough support to hold the head up that good mine also has a very greasy face and of course the blythe spaniel squish has a hole as well nintendo 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 spaniel also known as 1963 she looks so goofy with her eyes drifting apart and her tongue out but i actually really love her she's so cute i think the hearts on the ears and chest is just such a cute little detail she is also my Nintendo Kali's girlfriend. Just felt like sharing, cause why not? Look at them. They're perfect for each other. She also has a hole. Next up is Puzzle Cocker Spaniel. This one has no number. He also has a silly look to him. He brainless. He's very similar to 344, but a bit more of like a darker reddish orange. And he has glossy eyes. He also has a hole. And last but certainly not least, we have my actual first ever custom. I know I talk about this one being my first ever custom, but I'm mostly referring to my first full custom, where this is, you know, just an eye repaint and partial custom. But technically, she is my first custom. Her eyes aren't perfect, they are a little bumpy, but I love her so much. This was made using a fake Nintendo Cocker Spaniel base. She heavily lacks chin though. But anyway, that's it for my Cocker Spaniel collection video. Next, I'll probably do Dachshunds and Great Danes since I don't have as much of them, so I'll just put them together. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you all later. Bye!